Before we start, we would like to ask a few questions. First, who here ever heard of the term programming? And who knows how to program? Under 18, please. <laughs> so we've been looking at a Khartoum as a city. And how many of the youth program? We didn't find a lot. In this research, we didn't actually count the university students who actually studied that. We're looking for teenagers, youth. So then, what is programming? Programming is basically the computer's language, what the computer knows and understands. I'm standing in front of you speaking in English. There are different languages around the world. Same for the computers. So then you learn these languages and put them into the computer, which turns them into commands that the that understands. So you're going to ask me, it's hard to learn this, and you have to be so-called uh, nerd or a geek. <laughs> well, we are nerds and geeks, but not all of us. We're here to change this opinion. We started programming at the age of 12. I remember we taught ourselves. As I remember, we taught ourselves one language at the beginning. And that, it took us about two months. But then after that, we started programming immediately. It took us five hours at the beginning to design this application. It's basically a flash eyed application with one button. It says uh, on and off. Anybody can program. You don't need to be a doctor to program. You need, don't need to be anybody. You can just go out and program. You can learn. It's easy. And from my own experience, I'll tell you why programming is special to me. When I start programming, I design and make what I think of, what application I wanted on my phone, anything. I can make my own website, for example. I can do whatever I want. And then when you choose to program, you go to your family and friends. You tell them that. Then the, their opinion, you go like, why would you want to be a programmer? Just go study medicine. But there are millions of doctors around the world. Why aren't there millions of doc programmers? So as you see every day, technology is growing. So as programmers. There are different gadgets day by day, but now we're going to talk to you about a figure, a famous person that most of you here knows. But first, we're going to show you a video of a game that has been developed by youth maybe 50 years ago. You see, this application was designed by a teenage boy about the 50s or the, yeah, exactly, uh, 1950s. This application was famous back then. So now we're going to talk about someone who started programming from a really young age. Most of you know him already. He's Bill Gates, the creator and co-founder of Microsoft. He started out programming at the age of 13, in the 1970s. As you remember, the computers weren't as fancy as we have them right now. They didn't have the iPads, no laptops, no nothing. They had big computers. They look more like washing machines nowadays. <laughs> look at them. They're pretty old. And from these pieces of, well, I'm not going to say scratch, but these small boxes, they made these stuff and this. And now he invented the iPhone 5S. So then, we want teenagers and youth to create stuff like these. Just by learning how to program, you can open, you can do whatever you want. You can, I bet most of you have creative ideas and you don't want, nobody knows about them. If you do, raise your hands. Okay, some creative people over there. Yes. As you know, technology is growing day by day. New gadgets, new stuff are being released. So we want you to be part of this. We want you guys to start designing and building your mo own mobile applications, your own websites, your own, mo your own PC softwares. So you're going to ask, how do we program? Well, 
to teach youth how to program, we started out with teaching a group of friends. And when we look at, the f at their faces when they created their first program, it was just... This feeling was awesome. When we taught them their own first languages and coding lines, and they made their own softwares and mobile applications, that look on their faces what gave us the push to continue, to keep forward and to start this. But we won't stop there. We have been planning for months now to go out to Sneeze schools to teach them how to program. Just random teenagers you can see in, on the street, we'll teach them. We want to teach them some simple line of commands. Well, at first, when you look at this, it might seem like impossible or computer science. But this is actually easy. It's simple line of words and commands that you don't need to memorize but only understand. Throughout, when we're learning how to program, we found out that we're the only ones that program in our families. We got disappointed, but then we came up with this idea to teach all the youth how to program. And we want it to be worldwide, so we're creating a new social network to teach all the youth how to program. Actually, a code network. <laughs> this social network, or so-called coding network, you can sign up easily. You can start learning a language, maybe. If you're already a program, you want to improve your skills, you can learn. If you, if you have any problems, because when we started out, it was hard and we had all these bugs, problems in our programs. So then we wanted everybody to not face these problems and have it easy. So we started this, basically it's a social network for all programmers around the world to teach them how to get to know new stuff. For example, if you know C++ and you want to improve yourself, we give you some activities. If you have a problem, you can ask for help. And most of all, if you're a beginner and you want to learn from scratch, we'll give you the keywords and the first steps how to start. And we're, before we conclude, we would like to say that this website will be online in the next two to three months. And last but not least, we want you, we want the youth to be more specific, to be the change, to learn new stuff, to interact with technology, not to be a step back of the world. We all can program. You don't need a degree, certificate, you go to certain universities. You can learn it from this social network and start designing and building your own stuff, your own mobile application. You can publish them on the Apple Store, Android Market, in different places. And we believe that the youth of today can and will be the change. Thank you.